Hey, how's it going? This is Rob over here at Boon Bape, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I'll be bringing you all another old school RuneScape video, and this time it's going to be about clans as they just came out. We're all super excited about them. So since clans just released, there are a lot of questions about them, such as how to make one, the setup process, and lastly, the new clan hall slash recruitment. So while OSRS has a full write-up on how the clan system works currently over on their homepage, I know a lot of people don't prefer reading, so I'm going to be hopefully putting together a concise video on everything you need to know about clans. This is not going to be as in-depth as the written guide, more so a quick video guide to get you and your clan on your feet and going in the right direction. So if there's something I miss, feel free to check out the in-depth guide on the OSRS website and I'll leave the link in the description. You can also ask anything down in the comments below where I'll be able to give a more in-depth and specific answer to any issues. That being said, you can join our clan Boon Bape on World 301 where anyone is welcome or simply message us somewhere via our social media and in-game. So without further ado, let's jump into how forming a clan works. So for creating the clan, the process is fairly simple, as you'll first need to head over to the clan area, which is in the southwest corner of the Grand Exchange. Once there, you're going to need to talk to the NPC named Clerk. There you can get the process started, and after asking about clans, you can decide to create your own clan. Once this happens, you'll have the new clan panel pop up with you listed on the top with room for four more founding members. This is where it gets kind of tricky because you're going to need four additional players or accounts in order to create your clan. This has already resulted in plenty of people offering money for founding members. Once you have an available clan name, your four friends or enlisted founders, you're ready to go and you can confirm the creation of your very own clan. What's weird though is once you confirm and create your new clan, it actually creates the clan with only you being the sole member in the clan with no founding members in sight. Also make sure to let everyone know, including yourself, you cannot actually leave the clan area or you will be delisted from the clan and have to start all over again. It's a pretty weird system once you start it, but after it's done, it's done, and luckily you don't have to deal with it ever again. If you still want those initial founding members in the clan, you're going to have to invite them by right-clicking and recruiting them, or you can list your clan for recruitment where they can apply, but I'm going to go more in depth on that in the recruitment section towards the end. And so that's it. It's as simple as that. Now you have your clan fully set up and you are officially ready to go. Next, we're going to take a look at all of the setup that goes into setting up a clan so that you have the proper permissions and ranks. So now that you've made a clan, congrats, and now you can get started by setting up your clan with the correct permissions, ranks, and recruitment details. The first thing you'll be prompted with when you open up the settings panel is this screen showing your clan, homeworld, and interests. This is where you can change your homeworld if you prefer a PvP world or anything else. Also, you can modify your interests here, which lets other prospective players looking to clan up know if you share anything in common, whether that be PvP, free to play, bossing, slayer, and much more. Lastly, on this page, you can change whether or not you're going to allow guests to talk in chat and or listen to chat. And this allows players that are interested in the clan, but aren't in for whatever reason, participate in the clan chat. I almost forgot on the right of the panel, you will see your clan's flag, which represents your clan and it can be changed at any time. If you want some clan swag to represent properly, you can get a flag and cape with your clan's sigil by talking to clerk once more after creation. This is great for people not certain on joining or if they're in a clan already, but looking into your clan because your interests align, such as someone in a PvP clan looking to talk or team up with someone from a raiding clan. Like I said in the beginning, this isn't going to be a super in-depth guide as we would be here forever. But I will touch on a few of the more important things in pretty much every one of the clan panels. In the events panel, you can easily create and coordinate events such as drop parties, raids, or PvP events so the clan can all be aware. The members panel lets you see who's on and in the clan along with what rank they hold. This is also where you can set players ranks and see when they join the clan. 
Up next, we're gonna skip over the applications panel, saving that for the last section. And we can take a look at the hall panel. This simply lets you set up a home world. Whether you want to lock the hall or limit it for some reason, maybe having more than 10 players lags some of your members so you can limit how many players go in and out. Next up is the permissions panel, as this is where you are able to set up permissions for everything in the clan, from who can enter the hall to banning invites, and even who can set up events. Make sure that you go through thoroughly in this panel before you invest too much time into your clan, as you don't want to mess up by giving ban privileges to some random members on accident. Nearing the end is one of my favorite panels, and this is going to be the rank titles panel where you can customize nearly all of the ranks of the clan by giving them new names and replacing the old boring ranks. I personally went for an RPG themed ranking system where everyone has a different class assigned to their rank such as bandit or assassin. Of course there's a ton of different options available from simple things like a bronze bar to much more random icons like smuggler. Like I said, these are going to be most of the more notable panels and what they do, but make sure to check out everything for a couple of minutes to get familiar with the interface. Also, if there are any questions about anything I did or didn't go over, make sure to throw them down below and I can respond with a more in-depth answer. So now with all of that done and out of the way, we can get to the final part of the video, which I'm gonna be talking about recruitment and I'm gonna take us through the clan hall and see what that has to offer. So I figured we'd finish off by discussing recruiting while taking a look at the awesome new clan hall. And yes, every clan has access to the very own hall, so everyone in your clan can chill and grab something to drink from the bar along with use the other goodies available. So as far as recruiting or inviting members to your clan, there's a few things that you're gonna want to set up in order to have a good chance at recruiting all those valuable members that you're looking for. First off, check out the applicants panel that we skipped over before and here you can see anyone that signs up to apply for your clan. Here you can change the requirements in order for applicants to apply so you can make having a certain combat or skill total a must have before anyone even signs up. This can make it much easier for exclusive clans such as 2k plus only, PvP or pure clans find exactly what they're looking for by setting up these requirements beforehand. Once that's all to your liking, you can start accepting applications and list your clan on the recruitment boards in the clan area by walking up to the board and listing your clan in the very bottom. Once that's done, now everyone that is looking for a clan can come up to the board and see that you're recruiting. Besides that, this is mostly a waiting game where you can advertise to entice players on joining your clan. A quick tip is your clan is only going to be advertised on that specific recruitment board for your world. So if you want to get members only, then make sure to recruit in members only worlds and vice versa for free to play. Offering a community of chill, like-minded individuals that are simply looking for a fun experience is along the lines of what we try to advertise for our clan, but plenty of other players have very different ways of advertising, especially if they offer a niche such as Wildy PK or peer only clans. Also having a Discord server set up for anyone that's looking to interact more with clan members is a great option, especially for more involved activities such as raids or PKing. So that's gonna be about it when it comes to recruitment. It's really good luck and waiting and building up that strong community. But now we can take a look at the clan hall and everything that that has to offer. One very annoying feature, especially as the clan owner, is that if you wanna go into the clan hall, you actually have to turn off your application process. So you're not gonna be able to accept or recruit members while you're inside of the clan hall. I think this is because essentially you're going into another world or another area via the clan portal, so it can't really connect you in the recruitment board. Once inside, you are offered a ton of things, such as having a seat and drink from the bar on the ground floor, checking your bank, offering money to your clan's coffer, refilling your prayer, or utilizing the cooking range. It really is nice that all of these different options are available to everyone in the clan at the clan hall, making it a great option for skilling, or having a lot of people in the clan hall can be really nice to see. 
So all of that is really nice and really cool. Honestly, I think it's a great addition to the game, but most important of all, you can now pet the clan cat Hannibal, which can be found lounging in the kitchen area of the clan hall. So that's gonna be about it for this video and everything I have to hopefully get you going on the right foot when it comes to joining or making a new clan. I really wish all of you the best luck in your new clan ventures. And again, let me know if I missed something as I'd love to correct it for any future viewers. Also, before I head off, you know I've gotta advertise our clan Boon Bape once more. So if you're looking for a chill clan that's having fun and helping out the community, you can give us a shout out on World 301 or in-game VRR chat channel, which is Boon Bape OSRS. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and maybe it helped you out some. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you all very soon.